the Panay Island Upland Sustainable Rural Development Project, or PIUSRDP, is a five-year collaborative rural development project between the Korea International Cooperation Agency of the Republic of Korea and the Department of Agriculture of the Republic of the Philippines from 2015 to 2019. Living Environmental Improvement in the Phase 1 by Mobilizing Communal Participation Income Generation in the Phase 2 by Decreasing the Engagement of Public Sectors and Marketing Improvement in the Phase 3 by Establishing Cohesive Public-Private Partnership or PPP The first phase was implemented in 15 pilot upland barangays in Panay Island, covering 3,346 households. It was designed to improve the living condition and to motivate for a self-supporting development in the upland areas. The project was able to address the priority development needs of each upland barangay through a participatory approach with development consciousness, house roofing, comfort rooms, walls, kitchen and floors, and community facilities such as public toilets and communal water resource were provided and built through Bayanihan system. Also, the Barangay Hall is effectively utilized by the Barangay officials for their monthly sessions. Through the spirit of communal unity and cooperation, the community leaders, beneficiaries, and the youth participated in the construction of daycare center. Ay kung wala siguro ang kuika nga nag-abot, hasta ka dyan siguro wala naman mapaisli amon dingdingin sa totoo lang. Kagrako, gin nga pa salamat ay hindi lang ako bang uh, sangka balay ang natugroan, kundi rako gin. Salamat gid sa kuika nga gintagaan kami sa water tank nga subong hindi naging magbublay sa amon ang pagkuha sa tubig naging mahapos na gid subong sa amon kay gapatubod na lang kami sa tubig The phase 1 beneficiary showed a high satisfaction with an average rate of 88.5% in the implementation of the project in their respective barangays Therefore the satisfaction level on residential environment improved from 16.8% to 84.7% and the satisfaction rate of public facilities improved from 25.1% to 86.1% 10 out of 15 barangays were piloted for the agri-based income generation projects under the Phase 2 based on the performance assessment of the Phase 1 a series of participatory workshops were held to identify and prioritize income-generating projects based on community resource appraisal. Initially, the Agricultural Input Bank system was introduced to support agricultural production by providing production inputs in reasonable and affordable terms and conditions. The self-running credit system is operated by farmers' associations on a rollover scheme for the sustainable operation. Other income-generating projects were implemented to improve livelihoods of the beneficiaries, including greenhouse for high-value crops, livestock such as goat and native chicken, and inland fishery. The project constructed a 1.5-kilometer farm-to-market road, or FMR, in seven cities of Alimudian. It makes not only easy access to market, but also improve the safety of local residents, especially during rainy days. This FMR project presents a good practice of public and private partnership where project implementers and local government units work hand-in-hand. -hand. Koika provided 12,000 bags of cement to construct the said FMR. The provincial government of Iloilo 
provided heavy equipment needed for their construction. The municipality of Alimodian facilitated the timely delivery of sand and gravel by supervising the project as the managing partner. The community leaders and the people of beneficiary barangays contributed their efforts in preparing and concreting the road through Bayani Hand. In terms of yields of crops, from 60% for rice and 300% for cauliflower. On its third phase, the project created the Integrated Local Agri-Product Marketing Framework with financial facility under the Public-Private Partnership. It was conceptualized for inclusive local agriculture marketing system by linking marketing of local food with the agribusiness financial facility at the regional level. The local food system promotes healthy food by reducing the food mileage as well as increase income of local farmers enhance bondage of community, and retain income in local economy. The core principle of the third phase project is to establish the promotion of local food system in Panay Island through the public-private partnership. There are three project partners, composed of the Municipal Local Government Unit as managing partners, farmers associations and local cooperatives as marketing partners, and local cooperatives as financial partners. This project could lead the agricultural value chain market system to successful establishment properly equipped with the financial facilities. Eleven municipalities were selected from the four provinces of Panay Island, ten of which are appellant municipalities. The project established the local food network of ten Bayanihan Tipon centers and one local food terminal located near to the economic zone of Panay Island. So we would like to thank this Koikan for this project. Salamat din kami kayo. So thank you very much, uh, Koika. We are very happy for your big help for us in the municipality of Patnongan. Thank you very much, sa Koika. market and with the Bayanian Tipon Center. Good ako gininin nga bulig para sa Hamindan. Kaya ako uli nagpapasalamat dahil sa tulong sa amin ng Koyka. I would like to extend my sincerest thanks and gratitude. Our farmers uh, are being victimized by predatory middlemen and they have no ac direct access to either public markets or institutional buyers. by the produce of our local farmers. No? The project also provided the capacity development programs, which included an invitational training in Korea and local trainings and workshops in the Philippines. Korea's best practices on the local food system, the sixth industry of agriculture, 
credit and cooperative system were introduced during the invitational trainings. This was echoed and applied to the local trainings and workshops to improve the marketing capabilities of project partners. DA and COICA provided various trainings to farmers' organizations to improve their capacities of crop and livestock production, leadership, organizational and financial management, project monitoring and evaluation, public consultations, assessment, and planning workshops were also conducted throughout the project duration. So, una sa tanan, kapasalamat gid. Ako sa Koyka and tanan ng staff, tanan ng facilitate siling training. You are supporting farmers to turn into agri greeners. We support agri greeners. Thank you. Agricultural marketing loan is usually hard to access. This makes local farmers and vendors to depend on private finance with very high interest rate. It causes low income to farmers and high price to consumers. Therefore, the project has established the Agribusiness Financial Facility, or ABFF, to provide a local food marketing-specific soft loan. ABFF serves as financial source of working capital to cover the marketing including purchasing, selling, packaging, transportation, processing, and any value addition activities of local agricultural products. This credit service is accessible to the farmers and vendors, especially the members of the Phase 2 Farmers Associations and Phase 3 Marketing Partners. The ABFF is operated by financial partners who are multi-purpose cooperatives and serves as lending conduits at local level. The ABFF is run in a sustainable way with a 30% reserve of interest revenue based on the credit policy. In accordance to the framework of the project, one common brand was created for the promotion of the local agricultural products in Panay Island. In order to create a municipal local food logo, which is distinct to each project site, the managing and marketing partners utilize this common brand logo together with their municipality name. These partners can also utilize the logo in their marketing campaigns and promotion materials to create awareness about the local food terminal or barangay people centers as a business enterprise. The local food festival and trade show was successfully conducted as a collective marketing activity to promote the local food system in Panay Island. Dubbed as the main theme of the event, Farmers are Agripreneurs reflects one of the project's main objectives of helping farmers to be business-oriented and to engage in entrepreneurship. The event is crucial for the increased awareness of the public on the importance of local food and agricultural products in the local and regional economy, while building market linkages between the producers and consumers. The event was also conducted to help the managing and marketing partners impart agriculture as a business and acquire effective marketing skills for the operation of the BTC and LFT. Agri-entrepreneur, helping their market produce directly 
This project aims to enhance the quality of life, especially to the people in the upland communities in Hanai Island. It is designed and carried out by a step-by-step -step approach. You gave us a guide. You taught us. You inspired us to strive more and to stand and to walk on our own. The local food culinary contest was one of the main highlights of the event and was proudly introduced during the Panay Local Food Festival and Trade Show with the main purpose of enhancing public awareness of local food system where consumers are connected with farmers by utilizing and consuming local food and ingredients. Five universities and colleges participated in the contest and demonstrated creative dishes utilizing local products as main ingredients in the menu. Through the trade show, the local farmers from Upland municipalities in Panay was able to promote their local agricultural products, establish a market network, and strengthen the public-private partnership engagement for local food marketing. On the completion of the project, the Marketing Development Committee, or MDC, is created to ensure the post-project management of PIUSRDP. The managing partners are the local government units, and then TAPAS, TAPIS. The committee is composed of the DA Regional Executive Director as the chairperson and members from the representatives of the managing, marketing, and financial partners with the DA Agribusiness and Marketing Assistance Division as the Secretariat. The MDC shall oversee the post-implementation of the project. To ensure the efficiency and project sustainability, the operational policies and guidelines was crafted to provide a comprehensive guide to the implementers and partners of the project. The overall evaluation of the project shows remarkable outcomes on the increase of income and contribution to poverty reduction. The endline survey revealed that there is an increase in the average income by 73%, while poverty incidence is reduced by 44%. The project is highly evaluated in the six dimensions of development intervention, namely relevance, efficiency, effectiveness, sustainability, impact, and gender sensitivity. If you dream alone, it is just a dream. But if you dream with others, it will come true. Partnership is a critical enabling factor to success of the project. Such counterpart borne by the partners is an important part of our victory in strengthening the public-private partnership. For without everyone's cooperation, this project will not succeed. It is highly expected that all partners will continue to support the project in order to sustain the project mechanism for the benefit of the local farmers. It is hoped that PIUSRDP will be further refined to serve as an enabling development model in the Philippines and the other parts of the world. Let's work harder to sustain this project. As what I've said is not yet the closing, but this is the start of a bigger responsibility to all of us. Thank you very much to God be the glory.